The Clearing, Season 1, Episode 8, Thoughts. This episode is called Island. So, spoilers for these eight episodes. And let's dive right in. So, the, yeah, Matreya goes to Tamsin to get her back. I don't think I ended up noting it, so I'll just say it right here. When the arrest is carried out on the island at the end of the episode, Tamsin, like, sighs, and I, maybe I'm reading into it, but I got the sense that it was a sigh of relief. Like, until Matreya is arrested, what can she do to fight back? But seeing her be arrested is a, is a relief to her. Now she won't be subject to her anymore. She knows what Matreya does is wrong. And Freya talks to the cops. And yeah, I really appreciate it. There's, there's um, one of the first shots in the episode. Like, we see her face, and then the camera pans around, and we see there's all these cops. You know, she's separate from them. The... the you know, they, they care about finding Billy, but it hits her different. And Wayne is arrested because Billy is gone. And, yeah, and then we see, you know, Henrik lived very close. Uh, yeah, yeah, he's been living in, the, in Billy's treehouse. And, uh, you know, Freya becomes completely certain that it's him because she plays some of them music and it is the you know and and we get a brief flashback that's the music he listened to when she was a kid also you know it reminds him of home and yeah the cops think that you know maybe billy ran away or maybe you know on like by himself or you know that they, they they're reluctant to believe in the kindred being back and, yeah, the thing with her being underwater for maybe two minutes with, uh, you know, him not being watched by any person does kind of make her look bad. And, yeah, Freya realizes, I think they called it a Kimbo, I don't really know cars, but, yeah, that was apparently Anton's car. Uh, let's see, and yeah, we, you know, the, um, um, let's see, right, yeah, yeah, Christine says she'll be in the house in case Billy comes back, and Freya drives away from the, the cop who's, you know, supposed to make sure that, you know, that was very Hollywood. That's the kind of thing, you know, the, the cops can't solve the the problem. It It's up to this individual who doesn't have police, you know. Don't get me wrong, I don't like cops in general. They're, uh, you know, they work on behalf of the powerful, not regular people, but yeah. And... Yeah, so one of the cops is, is questioning Wayne and points out, you know, 80% of missing children, it's a custody uh, dispute. And I believe that is an actual real-life stat. So if not, it, it is definitely close to that. And, yeah, M Matreya is gone from the house, but uh, Mohammed, uh, you know, tries to help. And let's see, yeah, and and Tamsin is angry with Matreya. Matreya tries to appeal to her, as she always does. <clears throat> and Joe and Freya argue, and Freya feels that Joe isn't gonna do enough, so gets in the car and drives away, and. Wayne tries to leave the station, but he is, you know, yeah, they've they've locked the door and they won't respond when he calls, you know, he points out, you know, I know my rights, and yeah, they just don't respond, so, you know, on the one hand, 
I think someone making the show definitely felt passionately that it should be Freya on her own, solving things by the end of you know she gets help by man men, but you know there at the end it is you know she gets to the island she escapes from the island she you know she gets picked up by the cops but uh, you know yeah and so so locking Wayne in a you know one of the rooms in the police station you know that accomplishes that but it does also point out you know yeah they they look at him you know a lot of these cops are white so they think ah oh, this you know indigenous person he must be a criminal even though there's literally nothing to to like there's nothing in his background to to back that up and that brings us yeah the the you know freya talks to henrik and he says he was watching over her and and billy to protect them from the kindred which i got to say i that yeah that's a that's a good twist it it really is cuz cuz there's there's just enough like if you think back to earlier episodes like he didn't you know he yeah he went to the the place to to talk to to Bryce but he asked for the the tape you know so the and a lot can happen in what was it 22 years you know especially if you're incarcerated and yeah, we learn you know Henrik's and Hannah's kids were taken in by the kindred, and yeah, understandably, Freya really hates Henrik, and yeah, we you know she she checks the the mail, and you know there's a number of uh, I believe it's the like calls to Corella, so that is not. You know, it might also refer to, what was it Muhammad said, a, a small cockatoo, but it's also the the island. Or the, yeah, not the not the island, but the, the oh wait, was the island named Corella, or was it the place near, I guess Corella was the place that you could hire boats, maybe, but yeah. She hires a boat and, you know, gets there, and yeah. The, the kindred have set up a new location here, and it makes a lot of sense that, you know, they would pick this kind of island that is difficult to get to, and, you know, who, who would look there? Like, no, people who go to Corella normally are, like, fishing, you know, so, yeah, very, very clever, and, yeah, as, you know, um... Freya hallucinates Sarah a lot, and yeah, we see Bryce is there giving a presentation as so. So yeah, completely clear. I I really want to commend the the I guess are they extras? I get I think that at least some of them had lines in other episodes, but like the the look on the faces of the people listening to it, like they just. You know they they're they're so happy they they re really do believe in this this cult stuff and you know it is it's the kind of thing there are a lot of problems today you know and a lot of people are going to really latch on to you know like a typical cult thing is to overpromise basically you know so yeah. And Matreya says the words, Tamsin came home just like you. Oh, wow. And uh, yeah, Freya asks, where's Billy? And Matreya once again says some incredibly cruel words to Freya. I still, I, I wish there was at least once where she got to tell off Matreya, but yeah, you can't have them all and you know um in my last video on this show i you know i i suggested maybe someone could like you know um theorize about what would happen in the uh what's it called 
the um, yeah here here in the season one finale and arts cafe uh, let's see yeah yeah suggest you know prediction for episode eight apart from Freya getting a bit of justice in this one maybe we might find out what happened to that kid that got taken first Asha Sa Sarah whatever wait it's spelled I don't know and yeah you know so it was very you know it was it was heartbreaking learning what happened but I do really appreciate that we got answers and let's see yeah that brings us yeah and you know the the Maitreya says the the problem the reason that Freya you know struggles to to do a good job taking care of children is because she's never been cleared and you know says if if I took Bilbo I'm sure you'll find him and yeah and and you know she she's looking around the place and it's really they, they did an incredible job like the lighting and like the yeah the changes in lighting and the the editing like it really did feel like she's she is legitimately struggling to to keep to maintain her grasp on her per perception of reality and that is something that happens to to those you know um i think it's i believe the term is trauma survivors especially if they are in places or around people that though that that are linked to the the trauma you know and and yes yeah, you know she thinks she hears billy calling from from under the floor checks there's a trap door and you know opens it goes down and when she comes to she realizes there's no trap door there you know that's just like it's it's something that Yeah, you know, the the her trauma is in part linked to some some of her trauma is linked to that trapdoor, so she continues to imagine that you know and let's see the Right, and yeah, we see in flashback she was to baptize Sarah and yeah you know, she ended up drowning her, and, and I really appreciate, you know, Joe says, no, you didn't kill Sarah, Matreya did, you know, that's, yeah, it's, it's completely, the, the, um, ah, what's the word, you know, for, for one thing, it was, I suppose I should call her Adrienne, it, it was Adrienne who told, you know, like, don't, it's, it's, you can't tell a, a you know like maybe teenager possibly still even child to to put another put to put a child's head underwater like that's not you know and 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 it's you know it's typical Adrienne she doesn't get her own hands dirty you know if you want that to be what happens you know but she doesn't do it because it gives her something that she can hold over Freya and you know and and yeah Tamsin is also that like the the and and even like even doing it once is already unacceptable but she keeps having her do it and yeah like eventually the the like I don't know if we we don't know for sure if she held the if she held Sarah's head underwater for too long or maybe it was like eventually the shock like the water was very likely extremely cold you know and and yeah so let's see and and I can't help but wonder if that's why Freya has been training herself to hold her breath you know the some kind of warped logic of which I don't blame her for I blame I H ran for you know of like like if I can if I can hold my breath underwater for long enough you know kind of like maybe somehow Sarah will come back because that was the problem that was what she you know she kept 
thinking about why why couldn't she just have held her held her breath under the water for longer and and you know i appreciate the detail you know she does tell her hold your breath but you know you see like i mean for one thing it's a stressful situation for another this may well be the first time you know if, if like hypothetically maybe sarah is like afraid of water so she's asked to not be requested to like swim or or especially dive if this is the first time that she has to try to hold her breath underwater and you know again you know stressful situation she's scared you know it it is something that you have to really like i'm not good at it i'm not going to claim that i'm you know you you really have to tell your brain you know i i know i get it but please you know sh shut your mouth and and you know don't b because the moment that we struggle to breathe our brain will maybe you know it can panic and say oh you're not getting enough air quick take some deep breaths that's how you get more air because we didn't really evolve to to swim as a you know it's it's something you can learn but it's not you know but but yeah so and and the you know adrian says if you could forget that what else you know yeah what what else have you forgotten which is just yeah and yeah you know we we wonder briefly if she drowned bilbo and just yeah, it's it's really really horrifying, and then you know Adrian. It, this is one of the best lines, in my opinion, of the entire season. Don't you mustn't let your past. I you know I don't let my past define me, and you mustn't either. That you know, it's only the future that matters. Now to be clear. You know, it's important to not get bogged down by past mistakes, of course. But, you know, this is Adrienne. She's basically saying, it doesn't matter what I've done. And, you know, like, like yeah, with that kind of thinking, you can justify doing anything. Because it's all about the future. It's not about what you've done in the past. You know, that's it's it's a really, really twisted way to live your life. You know, of course you have to you you have to take some you know anything you've actively done you you have to you know take some accountability for you know you're you're never going to you know it 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 can be difficult it can hurt but you'll never fix things if you can't acknowledge the the problems you know so just yeah and they they talk about you know we can't let Freya leave the island, and I like the detail. They're still calling them the Blue Devils, even just talking to each other. You know they're not like just yeah. Although you know I guess Ant to Anton they probably still are. This you know he doesn't think of them as as you know cops that you know like hypothetically could maybe help someone. And let's see. Then we have the um, right. Joe is trying to to find via looking at the money. And Joe and Henrik, and and Anton tells Freya. Let's see. Yeah, ab about. Uh, yeah, about Max, I think it is, and and you know Max has the combi, and thus also Bilbo and Anton drugged Freya, and it's one of those things where you wonder like how can Freya still accept a drink from one of the kindred? You know, in in part it is probably you know they wanted the episode to play out that way. But I think it is also just like after all this time, like to some in some way she still feels like their family she still feels some trust towards them and yeah you know he uh, she tells anton that henrik and hannah are our parents you know the parents of freya and anton <clears throat> 
and yeah, Freya tries to to leave as Tamsin sits, supposed to watch her, but apparently asleep, and they they talk about Sarah. And yeah, you know, Freya does get out, but the boat is gone. And you know, I'm it's really impressive that she does manage the the swim. And this is of course also like she would not have been able to do that if not for all the practice of holding her breath and being underwater. You know, the the like water if you don't heat it like it's you know Water in nature is very frequently very cold. So, you know, it's actually just even to not cramp up in in that kind of water, just, yeah. And, you know, I appreciate that with Anton, like, there's, there's a few seconds where we wonder, like, is he actually going to shoot? Is he willing to shoot Freya, you know, despite them spending years together and and considering each other siblings and such and yeah he actually is though it's not like you know I, I think yeah based on the the you know the emotion on his face he can't quite bring himself to shoot her in the head and let's see yeah and and we see the um let's see. Right, I appreciate that when she's underwater, it's Sarah's voice counting, you know, seconds for how long she's down there. And, yeah, you know, she she manages to reach the cops, and Joe is there. And, yeah, they have the exchange, and she also says, I didn't kill Billy, you know, and it's... And, and like, Joe is, is shocked to even... No, of course you didn't, you know. And, yeah, and, and finally Wayne is let go, and, you know, he says, if something happened to my son, I'm holding you personally responsible. You want me to arrest you for threatening an officer? Oh, fuck off. And, and that's how you know this is not set in America, because even just saying that to a cop would probably get him arrested. I'm not saying that it's not also bad. And again, I, I forget if it's Australia or New Zealand, but it's one of them. And right, and and Bryce is is typing. You know, we're all looking for elsewhere. I believe I have finally found it. You know, even right before they're arrested, he still does believe. He is a true believer. You know, and yeah, the helicopter comes in, and Adrian tries to make a run for it but can't get away and the the helicopter uh, you know blows her her wig off she's basically brought to her lowest you know she's been arrested before but she kept calm there and you know she she wasn't seen in public without perfect makeup and such and you know now yeah and yeah we we see Henrik go to the the tree where he kidnapped Sarah and he hangs himself which you know you can you can understand how he you know i mean that was probably he he just wanted to make sure that you know that like the reason he didn't do that immediately after leaving prison was because he felt that he had to look after Billy and and Freya, which, you know, now we know why he gave, you know, he he left a flute for Billy, not to like groom him, but you know, basically as a as a, you know, he like that's his grandson, you know, he's he he wants to give his grandson a, a present. That's that's a very natural thing. You know, now that we realize that that's what it is, you know, at the at the time it seemed very very creepy and sinister. And they find Sarah's remains, and I really appreciate the restraint. Like we we just see like they find a shoe, because that's all we need. We don't need to see, you know, like 
there's there's a lot of horror movies that feel the need to like show the body of a dead child or something and it's just like we we get it you you can just imply nobody needs to see a, a, a just yeah and yeah the family is reunited there at the end you know billy max Wayne and Freya. I, I really appreciate that. And, you know, yeah, it, it did seem like, you know, is, is how, like, is Max really a, a true believer? Like, so much of the, you know, and turns out she wasn't. So that's, yeah. And, and you know, she says, Billy doesn't belong to the mom. None of us do. And, yeah, so the, the, um, I'll, I'll do another quick check. As far as I can see, there um, it has not been renewed yet. If the yeah, and I see you know one yeah one one article straight up says there is little narrative scope for future seasons, and I do. Yeah, I think it's it's very realistic that this is this will be the only season we get of the show, and it is like it actually. Yeah, I I really appreciate hypothetically if they wanted to try to make another season, like they can make you know they're not dead, you know Bryce. And Adrian, they're not dead. Hypothetically, maybe, you know, if 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 someone gets them out, the, the, you know, she's been arrested before, you know. But on the other hand, like if we never get more of the story here, you can. It's it's very easy to just say, you know, no, there's, you know, because the the. The problem last time was that that Adrian was the only person who had been arrested. Now all of them have been. So basically, you know, that last time they were able to make it appear that she couldn't stand trial. Now it's you know you have Mohammed willing to testify that she's been faking the dementia. Freya will. Joe will. You know that's that's significant. So it's very very unlikely that she'll be able to, you know, yeah, pretend that again. Yeah, and yeah, because the the Freya talked to her like minutes before, uh, maybe hours before she was arrested, and like yeah, she can based on that definitely well. Tamsin is probably also willing to, to testify that she does not have dementia. She's not going to develop dementia, you know, over the over the days that she's been, you know, no. That they could they could make that seem that way because the the you know they had people that would you know yeah they had they had control over people who would say that. But but yeah, um, really really glad that I I I kind of love this ending. This is this is really really perfect. I there's just enough there that they could make another one. One thing I will say, I really do hope that they don't try to make another one and then like, you know, I mean now we actually have the entire like. We know what happened to Sarah. That was one of the big things throughout the entire season. You know, that was something that was set up very early on. Uh, you know, and then you have the um, you have this threat of maybe the kindred is trying to come. You know, to to come back. Maybe it's just you know. Maybe maybe Freya is is struggling. Maybe she's hallucinating again. You know, but yeah, here by the end here, for sure they were trying to restart the kindred, you know, and yeah, you know, the the major questions have been answered. 
the the you know Freya has a family now you know that that was also one of the big she was she was very alone when we first met her she had um she had Bilby Bilbo sure but that was pretty much it and you know based on this episode I'm thinking her relationship with Christine is going to significantly improve also so yeah you know I I don't know if straight up like she if if Freya and Wayne are going to end up together again but if they at least like I can I could see how like maybe the the maybe some joint custody could be worked out at the very least and you know yeah and and like so many major characters in this can really breathe a Tamsin like sigh of relief and just you know because Adrian has been arrested you know it is they they really are going to yeah so so it's uh, yeah it it really is going to to um yeah ev everything has basically been resolved I want to really praise the, the acting of Lily Latore, who played Sarah in this entire season. Like, just incredible work uh, throughout. You know, that, that really, yeah, in general, the acting is phenomenal. And Julia Savage playing young Amy, also amazing work there. And, yeah that is that is it for this one so yeah um i'm going to be recording the um the review itself probably as soon as i've uploaded this one so yeah if if you have gotten to this part of this video and it's not up yet you know stay tuned it should be up soon so yeah, really, really love this show. Really glad that I, you know, yeah, I, I, it's, it's wild to me that that like at first I wasn't sure if I was gonna watch it, but like, you know, sounded really compelling. Gave it a chance. Really, really glad that I did. So, yeah, bye.